months, she was shot in the street. A 70-year-old grandmother going about her day when gunfire erupts all around her. And when I saw her shaking, I heard the shots, I realized they had shot. Tonight, anger and frustration from that woman's family. Good evening, everyone, at 11 o'clock. I'm Bill Ritter. And I'm Shade Better and Moi. The good news, the woman's expected to recover, and police say all but one of the men responsible is in police custody. I would assume reporter Jeff Pagay is in Jersey City with our lead story and new details in this story. Jeffrey. Bill, Ada Lopez is in stable condition tonight here at Jersey City Medical Center, and she is so fortunate to be alive. She is recovering in the hospital, this 70-year-old grandmother of more than 10, grazed by not one bullet, but three bullets. This is a photograph of 70-year-old Ada Lopez in the hospital, clearly enjoying the company of a friend. Her family was there, too. Thankful that the grandmother is alive. She's in good spirits. Her daughter, Nancy Lopez, was there on Griffith Street this afternoon when her mother was shot, the unintended target of a man who, according to police, had gotten into a dispute with another group of men. She fell down, and when I saw her shaking, I heard the shots, I realized they had shot her. 70 year old's daughters didn't wait for an ambulance. They rushed Ada to the hospital. She was eventually transferred to Jersey City Medical Center, where officials tell us doctors were able to stabilize her condition. Three bullets grazed mm -hmm. So she's a very lucky person. Her family is well aware of that, as well as angry and frustrated that on this day, at that time, on this Jersey City street, a 70-year-old woman, a grandmother, wasn't safe. These kids are crazy. I just think they got out of their mind. I don't know whether it was an accident or whether, you know, you saw just retaliations. This is crazy. Well, the family is thankful tonight because Ada Lopez is expected to go home sometime tomorrow. Already, three out of four suspects connected to the shooting are under arrest. It was really good police police work that led to the arrest. Within minutes, police arrested two of the suspects. A third suspect, according to police, the trigger man was taken into custody in Hoboken. He's been identified by police as Malik High, a man who investigators say just got out of jail for an unrelated crime. We're live outside Jersey City Medical Center. Jeff Pagay's Channel 7 Eyewitness News.